Do you ever find yourself stockpiling landmines for no reason? Like, when are you actually ever going to use them? Because you can't put them outside of your base and use them as, you know, a viable trap. Because every time you go to get resources, it's like the Juno Beach D-Day landings. But, luckily, I have, kind of, come with a solution for this. And I'm going to let my less enthusiastic and more intellectual counterpart of myself do the rest of the explaining in this live commentary coming up. What, cheeky git calling me? Boring. Alright, well, I'll show him who's the more intellectual. Today I have a very simple trap base. Now, this one works on the aspect of curiosity. So, when you destroy a foundation or anything that has a landmine on it, it explodes. And that does damage to you as well. So, if I stand nice and close to it, it should... Yep, now I'm down to 23. So, this works by, like, this, this system uh, works on the Nosy Parker sort of thing. Now, what I've done up here is I've just got a simple config. I've just got my power out box here. You don't need a splitter there. Uh, and then I've got a door controller down here. And then I've got a twig floor and two landmines. Now... What I will do is, I will add a pass-through component. Now, pass-through component is what I describe as something that has a power in and can power out straight away. So, you see there, we've got a power out of 98 watts. So, if we just put this in down here, that will... No, it won't, because I need to link the doors. Nope, they are already linked, never mind. I just need to power this in. So if we just bring this up here, put him in to the power out, and that'll open up the door, yes. So as soon as this is destroyed, because this floor is going to get destroyed, the door will close. Now, what will happen is some nosy park will come in, destroy the floor, the door will close behind them, you get the loot, and then you put something else down. Put the uh, next pass-through component down now the problem with this is that it does actually destroy your walls over time so you see these walls are a little bit damaged it even destroys over here and you want to make sure that you keep your components far enough away am i going to walk on these no you want to make sure you keep your components far enough away so that they don't get destroyed by the landmine so yeah this is this is probably the most simple trap base uh that you can collect loot from so let's try it out, shall we? So if we hit the auto respawn here button, just make sure that's on. If we walk in here, and nope, it's not going to want to respawn us. It's not, is it? Nope. Okay, I'll be one second. Right, I'm back. So now we go in here, we see that this door is closed and my body isn't there because it's sandbox intoxicated public server. Uh, but the door is closed behind us and we are free to grab the loot and reset up the base and get rid of all those space taking up landmines. So yeah, that's just about it. Simplest trap base ever, right? Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. This was just a short little video. Um, I'm, I'm currently working on a few projects. I'm working on binary counter, binary counter decoder, and a calculator. Oh god, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year for Rust, I think. Um, but yeah, I look forward to you watching the next videos, which will be a little more in depth videos. I just need to get around to making them. All right. Um, yep. Yeah, have a good one. First take, get in. Oh, it's actually the sixth take. Whatever.